welcome to my unboxing video for a matched pair of Rode M5 small diaphragm condenser mics. Uh, I'm going to be using these on a particular project where I need to record dialogue indoors uh, and I wanted something that was comparable in quality to the SE Electronics SE7 mic I've got. And I guess I could have just gone out and bought another SE7 but I thought it might be an idea to get a matched pair of small diaphragm condensers just in case they want to do any stereo recording. So I had a look online, loads of reviews, uh, and thought I would try out a pair of Rode M5. So here they are. So um, quite an unassuming box. There's nothing sort of um, fancy about anything to do with this setup apparently. Uh, you, what you see is what you get. Just a couple of mics and a couple of clasps and a couple of... Uh, have a, and a couple of pop shields and that's it and in fact you can see the pictures of that lot on the box so let's uh, open this up okay so we've got a matched pair certificate apparently matched pairs uh, result from the fact that they can be even in the same um, designer mic manufactured in the same facility there can be small variations in the sort of tolerances of things, so you can get small variations in the sound quality of the mics. So a match them in pairs um, to, to try and make sure you've got a as perfect a stereo pair as possible. So a nice I Love Road microphone sticker there, and a um, wow, probably the 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 most. Um, the sort of thickest user guide for a microphone I've ever seen. I guess it's in several languages. Yes, it is. That's probably why. Um, we've got in here a small, in fact, we've got two small sort of rubber um, sort of gasket type things, I guess, that go in between the mic and the um, and the XLR lead, uh, the XLR plug, I'm not sh quite sure what that's supposed to do, but uh, we get two of them. Um, we got a couple of, couple of mic clasps. Okay, let's see that there. Just hold that over something so you've got a bit of contrast. Move this, you can see that against the, uh, the, the box lid. Okay, a couple of mic clasps there. Um, we've got, I'll come back to the mics in a minute, because underneath here, I assume, somewhere, we've got, oh no, I'm intrigued, I can't find the, uh, I can't find the pop shields at the moment. Ah, I can feel one underneath there, okay. So underneath the mic clasps, you've got the pop shields, okay. And I'll just bring that back in there. Pop it back in there, pardon the pun. And then we've got the star of the show, two of these Rode M5 mics in a sealy bag with a bit of uh, a little sachet of silica gel. And they really are quite diminutive, tiny little mics. Um, okay, there's no sort of pad switches or uh, filters on these mics at all. That's quite sort of common with the lower end road mics um, and I think it's because I want to put everything into the capsule uh, and get all the quality there. There's the XLR connector and at the other end obviously you've got the business end of the mic. Uh, so it's a half inch um, small diaphragm condenser and there are two of those in this pack for say for about £135-£140 at the moment. Uh, made in Australia the Rode M5. Okay, I am going to be doing a um, video where I sort of test one of these out for speech specifically uh, against my uh, SE Electronics SE7 to see which one for speech uh, works out to be the most appropriate. I'm not particularly interested in these mics for their absolute truth and fidelity. Um, as long as I've got a reasonable noise floor uh, and uh, they're capable of recording speech um, clearly and you know uh, giving me a sound that's going to cut through um, 
over a, a, a sort of music track or whatever. Uh, that's what I'm really, really interested in. Um, so I'll be doing a comparison between these and a uh, SE Electronics SE7, which is a similar price mic in reality, even though that's available singly and these are only available as a match pair. Uh, and we'll see which one is going to be most suitable for my needs, which is for um, recording indoor dialogue for video. Okay, if you enjoyed that video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, don't bother. It's a free country. And uh, I'll see you again soon. In the meantime, take care.